Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Conversion Segment, brought to you by bitsbox.co.uk. As always, I'm Craig, and he is Ryan. Hello there. To view the conversions we're talking about, go to bitsbox.co.uk forward slash blog and follow the Screaming Heretic link. Hey, today we're looking at how to convert some Sisters of Silence. Now I'm using these in my Custodes army, which use Grey Knight rules, so naturally they'll be um, representing Death Cult Assassins. Okay, if you're unfamiliar with the Sisters of Silence, they're in the Horace Heresy novels. These girls were basically a bunch of anti-psychers. Their mere presence disrupted psychic abilities and they went out and actually hunted anybody that used psychic powers. Yeah, and I've just finished reading Thousand Sons and they were used against the Thousand Sons with the Space Wolves. So, let's um, look at how we convert them. I've started with um, Dark Eldar Witch Legs. And the bodies that I've used are the, the old Dark Eldar warrior um, female torsos, but you could use witch ones as well. But heads, the, um, the main sort of part of these conversions. So the uh, heads looks like it's you've got a helmet that's been cut in half, and obviously a bare head that's been cut in half, stuck together to create what looks like a, a face or a mouth guard. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I actually saw a tutorial for this on the internet. The heads I've used are. From um again from the old plastic Dark Eldar Warriors. And they're actually quite easy to get hold of on, on like eBay, so that's where I got all my bits from. Okay, uh, let's see. It looks like uh, the arms looks like old is that Dark Eldar Yeah, Yep, again they're Dark Eldar arms Yeah. Let's see we've got um an old fantasy is that an Empire sword? Yeah, that, I think that's an Empire sword, but you could use a, a sword from any sort of fantasy range really, as long as it's sort of like right sort of scale. Yeah, so as long as it matches the actual size of the bodies and that, it'll be fine to put together. And on their right hand, it looks like we've got, you say that was a Rogue Trader pistol? Yes, a Rogue Trader bolt pistol. But, uh, they, they are a lot harder to get hold of, but you could you could just use like an Imperial Guard sort of hand, maybe a LAS pistol or something. Some of the other ones in the squad would use like small bolt pistols and just any other little guns I can sort of find, really. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Sisters of Silence will be hulking around giant bolt pistols like the old Space Marines use. No, definitely no. not. I have another Sisters of Silence model here. This one has a two-handed sword. This is from the Empire Militia set. Some of the artwork shows them with two-handed great swords as well as a pistol and a sword. So a variety there. And that's about all I can say about these, really. Right, so the next model we're looking at, probably my favourite model that I own, and that's a converted Chaos Lord. The majority of the model uses the um, Forge World, World Eaters Terminator Lord, Lord Zufa, or Zufa, I really don't know how he pronounces it. Um, it uses his his body and legs, his cape, and his shoulder pads. He has a massive axe, which is from the Demon Prince. And I've converted that by using the Demon Prince axe, and the staff arm and uh, end of the staff, from the um, Plastic Chaos Terminator Lord. I've noticed that you've got, um, was that a corn icon that you've uh, snipped in half there? Yep, that's from the Chaos Vehicle Accessories, and I've just cut it in half and put it on the end of his axe. And that's from, a, I think, a picture in the Chaos Demons book, where there's an axe with like a half corn symbol on the um, back of it, and I thought that looked really cool, so I sort of just copied it there. It's always good to know where you get your inspiration for custom models from. Yeah. Um, his other hand, he uses a claw from the Huron model from Forge World which is a really cool model. Um, so, it's, it's not a cheap conversion, there's, there's so many Forge Wild bits, but I'll put a little Storm Bolter on there as, as well. Um, he could easily be used to represent a Baden as he's sort of armed similarly, or just a Chaos Terminator Lord with Demon Weapon. Yeah, so he's got the uh, Space Marine trophies up on his there. Uh... Yep, they're from the plastic Chaos Space Marine box set. And he also stands on the rock from the Huron model. And then there's just a few little skulls scattered about, which I believe are from the Dark Elder Hellion set. So a lot of work has been gone into this actual conversion. Yeah, and um, just the last piece that I've used, that's a face from Empire Flagellants. Which is rather unusual part, but it still works all the same. Yeah, it works really well. I mean, a lot of the fantasy heads, are they seem quite small when you want to use them for like space moons and that, but I don't know, it just looks, it looks right, I think. Yeah, especially when you say about the small head part, which works quite nicely with the Terminator armour. Yeah, wearing. Um, it's my favourite model. I, paint, I think I've painted them to a pretty good standard, and he just looks, you know, he looks quite menacing, really. 
again, you can see all these uh, images of all the conversions that we talk about on Craig's blog. Yep, that's bitsbox.co.uk forward slash blog and then follow the Screaming Heretic link. Once again, thanks to the guys and girls at Screaming Heretic for having us here. And we'll see you again in the next episode.